Welcome back. It is Tuesday, June 4th in the MLB, and my six favorite picks are on the way. What's going on, everyone? It's Logan from Calling Our Shot. Yes, I said six favorite picks. Let's buckle in. We have a long episode, a lot of picks today. But before we dive into the picks on this fine digger Tuesday, also hint on that, we have to do a re- quick little recap. An annoying one in two day, losing a little over a unit. Let's talk about it. The Reds on the money line, that one was free as air. Love to see the Reds come through for us. Cardinals team total under. No, they go over right on the hook. Justin Verlander sucks. He was terrible. He allowed three home runs. Not going to get an under that way. And then we had the parlay of the day, which was just as equally frustrating. Seager does his job. Mountcastle goes 0 for 5. Our boy, Mountcastle, he let us down in that one. It's tough, though. You know what? We're going to bounce back today. We have six picks. I love them. And it really does start with the, the Dinger Tuesday giveaway. The vibes are high on this Dinger Tuesday giveaway. If you are not familiar with the giveaway, what you have to do, number one, you have to be subscribed to our channel. So go down and hit that subscribe button if you already aren't sub. Number two, you have to go down in the comments. Tell us which player you like to hit a home run, the odds of uh, of that player, and the book I can find it on. The, the player that hits a home run at the highest odds uh, will win the $25 giveaway. I'm going to have to sift, sift through over probably over 100 comments. So if your guy does hit a home run, maybe you, maybe you leave a little celebratory, yay, I cashed on that. And if you lie to me, I'm going to find you and then block you from the channel. No, I was just kidding. But I, that's a really fun uh, giveaway. I'll give away $25 to whoever does have the highest odds winner in that one. So you can be you can be a little ambitious in those dinger picks. But my dinger pick, Cody Bellinger of the Cubs, plus 430 odds on FanDuel. I love Bellinger to hit a home run today against Chris Flexen. Obviously, you got a high total in that game. We could get a little belly bomb to right field. I'd love that as my dinger pick. But that will that'll lead into our actual picks. What, what we're tracking for a unit. I and mean, you guys know it's mon- it's Tuesday. So that means it's parlay of the day. We post these every Monday through Friday on Odd Checker. The link will be posted a little bit later. I haven't created the parlay yet. But when it is live, you will see the link in the pinned comment. You also see it on our Twitter. So go definitely go check that out. It's two hitters that I really like to get a hit. We're going to bounce back today. Yesterday was a flop thanks to Mountcastle. But first pick or second pick of the day, is the Pirates on the plus one and a half run line, minus 104 odds on Fandle. And then watch what I'm about to do here. I'm about to switch in the the Pirates on the money line at a half unit sprinkle, plus 158 odds on Fandle. So let's let's do that again for the people that are fast forwarding. Pirates run line, half unit on the Pirates money line. Yes, I'm trusting the Buccos today against the Dodgers, right? Crazy, man. Is that even allowed to bet against the Dodgers? I've cashed before. I've cashed this exact stat or stack on the Reds when they were playing the Dodgers. This game just means more to the to the Pirates than the, it does the Dodgers. And I think they they sneaky get one today in this game one of the series. I think it's their best shot too because I like the matchup for Jared Jones and the Pirates. Three point five five ERA and a one point zero WHIP for Jer- Jared Jones. He was roughed up in Detroit. He's he's a very talented young pitcher. You you should definitely go watch him if you haven't. If maybe you're a casual and have not watched him. In Detroit, not his best outing. Gave up seven runs, five of them earned. Jared Jones was was just missing. He was he was he was had an off game. The 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 rain was kind of affecting him. Whatever that throw that game out. That was a road start where Jared Jones has a four point seven three ERA compared to at home where he has a two point three two ERA at home. Look at this Dodgers team. They strike out a lot. Sixteenth in, in strikeouts on the road. Yeah, there's definitely some opportunities for a guy ha- that has elite strikeout stuff like Jared Jones to get some of those today. He's 93rd percentile in chase percentage, 93rd percentile in whiff percentage, 94th percentile in fastball below. The Dodgers will have their hands full with a guy they've never seen before. No familiarity against Jared Jones. I love him today. I love I love uh, his matchup against the Dodgers, even though they're the big bad Dodgers and they have that stacked top of the order. I think Jared Jones holds them down. And then on the other side, Tyler Glass now starting for the Dodgers, 3.04 ERA and a .9 whip. Now, now Glass now, obviously, he's not a scrub. He's not unhittable, though, I will say that. 3.75 ERA in the last four starts, three home runs allowed in those last four starts. He He's capable of, of making some mistakes. The question is, can the Pirates make him pay today? I think so. This Pirates team comes out pretty hungry, too. In two of their last three home game series, the Pirates have won game one. Just a little interesting trend for you. Normally, the Pirates, if they're going to take a game in the series, I still think this one is their best chance, maybe tomorrow with Paul Skeens, but I think Jared Jones against Glass now. And then even if, you know, if you're looking at this Pirates team, you're like, maybe the offense isn't that great. 
over their last three games, Pittsburgh's still hitting 260. That's enough to keep this game and this series competitive. I think they bring the bats today against Glass now. And then in the bullpens, yeah, a little uh, advantage there for, for uh, L.A. Pittsburgh, 24th in bullpen ERA. Dodgers, 4th in bullpen ERA. What I'm banking on, though, is Jared Jones to give us enough length in this one to we're not exposed to a ton of Pirates bullpen arms. I still think the Pirates on the run line at the plus one and a half and on the money line at that plus almost 160 price we're getting. I think those are two great, great bets to make. I'll take a shot on the Buccos today. Hopefully we fly the Jolly Roger. Next pick, one and a half units. I'm putting on the Rangers, team total over three and a half. Minus 110 odds on DraftKings is your best value. Now I said one and a half units. I like this pick. I, I almost liked it enough to go two units, but I'm like, eh, maybe I got to love, love a pick for two units. So I like one and a half units. I think this is a great, great buy low spot on this Rangers team, a Rangers team that stunk yesterday. Scooble cooked them. I think this line is just too low. It's an overreaction to what they did yesterday. This Rangers offense hit rock bottom yesterday. Buy low spots exist all the time in baseball. I think we're getting a buy low spot against Jack Flaherty, who looks good on paper. 3.46 ERA and a one whip. One stat that I know Flaherty struggles with is with runners in scoring position. If the Rangers get those guys on base today, they can get them home. Flaherty allowing a 282 batting average with runners in scoring position. And the Rangers, even though they have been a pretty streaky offense this year, some some days they're scoring six plus, some days they're they're only putting up, you know, the, the breadstick or the donut, the one or the zero on the board. Rangers, fifth best in batting average with runners in scoring position. This is a good offense. It's, it's a good offense. They just don't always play like it. Against Flaherty today, I think this is a great matchup. And Flaherty's tough on lefties, but righties have success against him. He's allowing a 211 batting average to lefties versus a 250 against righties. The Where where this Rangers lineup is, a lot of the righties are going to come up with guys on base. It's up to these guys to get, get them home. You know, I'm, t- I'm speaking of like the Adolis Garcias, like, where are you at, man? I need, I need guys like that today. I need them to produce. And we look at Flaherty's earn run lines at the two and a half, slight plus money on the over. No surprise there. But the hit rate on that on that over is actually pretty decent. It's it's 50% in his last four starts. It's gone over in two out of his last four starts. Jack Flaherty is a good pitcher, not a great pitcher. I don't think this line should be three and a half, personally. I mean, where, where we're getting it at, at minus 110 odds, it's a discount on this Rangers team and in this Rangers offense. And then we go to the bullpens, right? Flaherty's not going to pitch this whole game, hopefully. And Detroit, 18th in bullpen ERA. I still think there's chances and run opportunities late in this game for Texas in this one. I do really like their team total over three and a half. I think it's a great bet to make. It's worth one and a half units, in my opinion. Now it's going on to our next pick. It's a money line. It's a money line that treated us right yesterday. I'm taking the Reds on the money line, minus 135 odds on DraftKings is your best value. Now the Reds obviously won 13 to 3 yesterday. A no sweat winner for us yesterday. I got to run it back today. This is a system play. When when a team looks that good in their first game of the series in course field, I just got to run it back because they're 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 hot. And I don't think Ty Block's going to stand in their way. He starts for the Rockies today. 4.15 ERA, 1.27 WHIP. Obviously Block. Hasn't seen a ton of lefties, very limited, only 40 plate appearances. He's tough on them. Righties have had a ton of success against Ty Block, though, and I'm banking on them to, to get to him today. The righties hitting 326 off Ty Block. The, the righties in this lineup, in this Reds lineup, are very important, like Steer, like Stevenson. Those guys have to produce today, and I think they will. With runners in scoring position, Ty Block allowing a 276 batting average. That's not that great. And then two outs runners in scoring position. That balloons all the way up to a 455 batting average. So hopefully the Reds can get those timely hits for us today. Hopefully they can make Ty Block pay. And then it's up to Frankie Montes. Hold it down for us. 4.6 ERA and a 1.4 whip for Montes. Not my favorite pitcher to back and why why this isn't a you know higher unit play. But I still look at this, I still look at Montes. Lefties have had success against him. It's a little bit scary with the Rockies lefties. 291 batting average allowed to, to left-handed bats versus just a 220 to righties. If he's able to, to navigate through those left-handed bats, I think Montes is going to be in for a decent start today. And with two outs and a runner in scoring position, Montes is only allowing a 211 batting average. So he he might get the runners on base, but hopefully he's able to strand them today. And the Rockies only hitting 231 in their last four games versus righties in this one. I still think I think still think the the Reds should be able to edge them out offensively, and then we look at the bullpens. Advantage there for the Reds, as we talked about yesterday. Reds 13th in bullpen ERA, Rockies 30th in bullpen ERA. 
Rockies bullpen, always a liability, always able to come in and sell the game for them. I think it's the Reds in this one. As long as they bring the bats like they did yesterday, we should be in a solid chance to cash that bet. Now that will lead it into something we haven't done in a hot minute. We let the rock music just flow through our veins. And we're taking the Rays and Marlins no run first inning. Minus 128 odds on FanDuel is your best value. Now, you might have been able to pick this one out. You might have known where I was going in this one even prior to watching this video. But I really do like it. Obviously, we got our go Nerfy Goat, Jesus Lazardo, starting for the Marlins. Lazardo 8-1 and one on Nerfies this year. Rays, not a great first inning team. Only 23rd in first inning runs. Lazardo tough in the first inning, allowing a 161 batting average in the first inning. He should be able to get us those first three outs we need. And then it goes to, to Ryan Pepio starting for the Rays. Pepio, 6-3 and three on Nerfies this year. Pretty solid. I mean, every now and then he'll make a few mistake pitches. He faces a Marlins team that is sixth in first inning runs. They've scored when they score in the first inning, they score a lot. So that number is a little bit deceiving. But I, again, it ha they this offense is pretty streaky. And Pepio only allowing a 206 batting average in the first inning. I think Pepio is able to get us those last three outs we need. He's a tough pitcher to face first time through the order. I love that as a Nerfy. Let's fly the flags today. Nerfy Nation, that will do it for the picks today. I'm going to do a recap because I've been talking for um, you know almost 15 minutes straight. We've got the parlay of the day. Post it later this morning. Check the pinned comment for that when it is live. We have the Pirates on the run line, and then we have a sprinkle on the money line. We have the Rangers team total over, the Reds on the money line, and then the Rays and Marlins no run first inning. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. A, lot, a big card for us today. Hopefully we can make some money, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.